That's right, CAL FIRE has been hiring temporary firefighters since January of this year. They're expected to have 60 new hires by Monday. Now, while they're all getting prepared for the peak of fire season, which is expected to come this July, they're stressing that residents need to be sure to do their part too. Currently, we have all of our stations open due to the historic drought. California already facing a historic fire season. Cal Fire Siskiyou Operations Chief Ron Bravo says statewide there have been more than 1,300 fires this year. We will continue to see more fires throughout the summer, and we want the public out there to make sure to protect themselves. Bravo didn't have an exact number of fires for Siskiyou County, but says he's concerned because the fires they've already had are starting in areas that don't usually burn. The fuel beds are really dry. We did not have a snowpack. Uh, to help keep those fuels moist. Wairika resident Kiana Norman says she's not worried about her home being in danger, but if the fire season gets out of hand, she's concerned about her health. The main thing is you can't really breathe, so you don't want to come out, but you have to go to work or run or work out, whatever. Norman's friend Dayton Rich Creek feels the same way. He adds he's grateful for how hard firefighters work. I felt bad for the firefighters, especially because it's hot, really hot and then they have to climb up on the hills. But Bravo points out firefighters can't do it alone. And when they're doing their defensible space, make sure they do it early in the morning and to prevent any sparks from starting a fire. Bravo reminds you need to have a 10 foot clearance around burn piles and you must have a permit. You also need to follow burn hours. They also have to be present with their burning at all times as well as have water on site to be able to extinguish any, any issues they may have. Another major concern, lightning. In 2008, Bravo says many of their fires were sparked by summer storms. Covering your news in Siskiyou County, Ashley Carrasco, News 10.